In this module, we shall discuss some examples of cosets. First, we prove that vector additions are a group. To prove this, we have pick we have to choose two elements a b and c d in r square and when we add these two elements we shall get a plus c first coordinate and b plus d as second coordinate we have to add first coordinate of first element to the first coordinate of second element and similarly, we have to add a second coordinate of first element to the second coordinate of second element. A plus C is a real number and B plus D is also a real number. As you know that when we add two real numbers, we shall get a real number. So this ordered pair A plus C, B plus D is in R square. Now we have to see whether identity element is in R square or not. We choose 0, 0 belonging to R square. And if we take an arbitrary element in R square and uh, we add identity element to that element, we shall get the same element. So 0, 0 ordered pair is the identity in R square. Now we have to check the inverse law. We are choosing an arbitrary element A, B in R square. And we have to see that whether minus A minus B ordered pair is an inverse of the element A, B the answer would be yes because when we add these two elements we shall get 0 0 ordered pair jaisa ke aapne isse pehle dekh chuke hain ke real numbers ke andar hum additive identity minus a additive inverse minus a lete the aur isi tarah yahan par hamare paas ordered pair a b hai aur we first coordinate ka sign change karna hoga minus a aur isi tarah second coordinate ka bhi sign hame change karna hoga aur jab hum dono ko add karenge to answer 0 0 aa jayega now we shall prove the associative property we shall pick arbitrary three elements ordered pair a b ordered pair c d and ordered pair e f we shall add first two elements ordered pair a b and ordered pair c d then we shall add the third one e f and we shall first we shall apply addition within brackets and then we shall get a plus c ordered pair a plus c and b plus d and the answer would be added to EF and we shall get the first coordinate A plus C plus E and the second coordinate B plus D plus F. At this level, we have added all three elements and as you know that first coordinate would be added to first coordinate of each element and second coordinate is added to second coordinate of each element. Now, as we know that the associative property holds in set of real numbers and first coordinate would be A plus C plus E. The bracket would be shifted over C and E. And similarly, the second coordinate is B plus D plus F. Now we shall apply the definition of addition in reverse order. And uh, we shall get C plus E, D plus F, which is added to AB. 
and we shall obtain finally CD plus EF which is added to AB and we have proved that associative law holds in R square in this way we have established that R square is our group under addition now we take a subgroup in R square and we choose the set H equal to ordered pair 2T T, T such that T is in R the set of real numbers and uh, first we show that it is a subgroup of R square and to prove it is a subgroup we have to compute ordered pair 2A A minus ordered pair 2B B here ordered pair 2A A is an arbitrary element in H and ordered pair 2B B is also an arbitrary element in H and uh, we are looking that whether H is additive subgroup of G or not so we have taken the inverse of 2B B which is uh, the with negative sign minus 2B B and when we added these two elements we shall get 2A minus B A minus B the same form of H it means that this element belongs to H and uh, it means that just like you have seen in the result we subgroup uh, we established in the past modules ke andar. so it means that H is a subgroup of G now with this subgroup H and uh, group G we have to find the cosets of H let x equal to 2t y equal to t and when we eliminate t we shall get y equal to x over 2 and uh, as you know that this is a linear equation and graph would be a straight line passing through origin and this is our subgroup H of R square R square is whole plane and H is a subset of R square and more than subset it is a subgroup of R square because it H also satisfy all the properties of group now we are considering some other cosets of H we have added an arbitrary element a B ordered pair to H and we shall get a plus 2 T B plus T ordered pair set X equal to a plus 2 T y equal to b plus t x is the first coordinate and y is the second coordinate and when we eliminate t we shall get equation in x and y which is y equal to b plus x minus a over 2 this is again a straight line and uh, as you know that straight line can be written as y equal to mx plus c and uh, uh, it does not passes through origin because we have y intercept the subgroup h is the line y equal to x by 2 as you were seen on the previous slide the cosets are line parallel to y equal to x by 2 because as we know that the slope of this straight line is 
1 by 2 and the slope of line passing through origin is also 1 by 2 which is giving us a group H. Now we draw diagrams 0, 1 ordered pair plus H is given as this straight line which is parallel to H because slope is equal minus 3 0 ordered pair added to H is given by this straight line and 1 0 plus H is given by this straight line and there are infinitely many cosets left cosets of H in G in this example جیسا کہ آپ نے اس اگزیمپل میں دیکھا کہ ہم نے کوسیٹس فائنڈ کیے جی کے اندر جی ہمارے پاس پلین تھا آر سکیر اور جو کوسیٹس ہمارے پاس آئے تھے وہ ہمارے پاس لائن لائنز کی فارم میں آئے تھے اور لائن پاسنگ تھرو اوریجن ہمارے پاس وائی ایکول ٹو ایکس آور ٹو ہمارے پاس آئی تھی اور ہم نے دیکھا کہ وہ سب گروپ تھا جی کا لیکن ریمیننگ جو آپ کے پاس کوسیٹس تھے وہ اوریجن میں سے پاس نہیں کر رہے تھے اور اوریجن جو ہے وہ ایڈیٹیو آئیڈنٹیٹی ہے گروپ انڈر ایڈیشن کے کیس میں تو it means that remaining کوسیٹ would not be sub group of G